It's time for lunch. See how much money I've got. I've got a bunch of paper. I've got a dollar. Pretty bad shape, too. Wow. Um, let me see if I can fix this. I got the. Got, if I'm going to eat lunch, I need more than this. Here's a piece of paper. That's my prayer for Sunday. Let me just uh, put this piece of paper on the dollar. Like this. There we go. And I'll just I'll kind of wave my hand over it like that. There. Here we go. This is going to be good. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yep. I like that. Now I've got some, uh, got some money for lunch. <laughs> Big lunch. Once again, we have started uh, to look at these, this balance in your spiritual growth. This is the balance that we see in the scripture with people in the Bible who have grown in the Lord, how they grow in the Lord most efficiently. We've looked at personal worship and devotion, mainly meditation and prayer. And now we're in understanding the Bible. Next will be service. Now, everything fits together in this triad regarding spiritual growth. Today I want to talk about understanding the Bible. Understanding the Bible, what you want to do is you understand it for the purpose, I don't know if you can see this, of transformation. Yeah, transformation. And you do that in three ways. One is that you read the Bible and it's uh, for devotional purposes. You, you just listen to the Holy Spirit speak to you. How is God speaking to you in the here and now? It's existential. It's, uh, it's just part of your daily devotion. Unfortunately, most people do it that way exclusively. They just read little snippets here and there. Uh, when you read the Bible, uh, and what I'm going to be talking about is to understand the Bible. But then there's a third way that you, um, you grow in reading the Bible. You read it to find out God's will. This is great. You use the Bible, use what you see in the Bible for your ethics, your morality, and your direction in life. For devotion, to understand, and to guide you. Now, the Bible contains the epic story of the person and the nature of God and, uh, and His purpose with us. God, His will and purposes are gradually and progressively revealed in the Bible. Forty writers, 66 books, over 2,000 years. Bible reading, to understand the Bible, is a way to unpack that epic story and discover who God is and what He desires for your life. The books of the Bible need to be heard one, by, one at a time. Uh, we must focus on each writer's unique voice if we're going to understand it. And his teaching, his historical setting, his own perspective, his own reason for writing, his unique contribution, what he knows about God. And we discover how each book contributes uh, to the uh, broader epic. And we do this by listening to each voice carefully. And the world's best scholars who study these books in their lives come together and write uh, introductions and uh, study notes in, these, in the best of these 
study Bibles. And they write the study notes um, to help you make sense of how all the individual messages and stories with all these voices make up the grand story of the Bible. That's what you want to know, isn't it? The grand story of the Bible. God, God's purposes, how God relates to me. Writer by writer, book by book, section by section. They help you unpack everything you need to know. Uh, it's like uh, it's like taking a one dollar when you study the Bible. Take any time to read the Bible. It's like you take a one dollar bill and you get up, walk off. You get a hundred dollar bill. I'm going to show you the two most uh, popular Bibles, uh, and then I'm going to show you the two best study Bibles. The two most popular study Bibles. The two best study Bibles over here, uh, and uh, just talk a little bit about that. Now, here are, this is the, this I think is uh, n the number one, the NIV Study Bible. Uh, or it might be, I believe they kind of change year to year. Got the NIV Study Bible and you got the NLT Life Application Bible. That's the New Living Translation. Both these translations are great. This is simple. This is for beginners. The Life Application Bible. It is very helpful. It's not like it's for children. No. Uh, now there's some others that uh, are, are popular that are quite good. And uh, just very quickly, you have uh, the, I've got them spread out here. HCSB Study Bible. And the CSB Study Bible. Now, they're both the same Study Bible. It's just the CSB is an updated version of the HCSB. And not to confuse you, just remember, this is the kind of Study Bible that's on par with the two most popular, uh, especially the most uh, popular NIV study Bible. These are on par with that. I, in fact, I think uh, as much as I recommend the NIV study Bible to people, I think the uh, CSB study Bible or HCSB study Bible and uh, uh, either one of them might be as good or better. Now, th what about, that's the most popular. What about the two best ones? Uh, the ESV Study Bible. I'd rank that number two. But the number one is what used to be called the NIV Zondervan Study Bible. They updated this. It's the same book, <coughs> but it is easier to read and it's called something else now. The Biblical Theology Study Bible. It's not heavy on theology. But this, uh, you, you, with whichever edition you get, you're getting the same Bible. So get a study Bible. Let's pray. Gracious God, uh, we have a purpose here, and that's to be transformed by your Holy Spirit through your Word. And we pray that you would teach us how we can do that in a way that it would be very effective so that we can become like Christ. Amen. I love to study the Bible. It's my life. <laughs>